Hey y'all, I'm Elisa and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I want to share a flip through of my entries from the Psalms Making It Personal Devotional. This was put out by By the Well for God for the month of June. It has sold out a couple of times so I'm hoping they will continue to restock it as soon as they have a chance. I actually worked through this in my Illuminated Scripture Journal. So the Illuminated Scripture Journal uh, has a journal for every book of the Bible. You can buy them individually. They're available on Amazon and also through a lot of Christian bookstores. And I have the New Testament set and then I purchased the book of Psalms so that I would be able to use it for this devotional. So it works like an interleaved Bible in that you have the verses on one side and a blank page on the other that has this really light grid pattern. It was great because it allowed me to have a lot of room and have all of my Psalms in one place. So let me walk you through all of my entries for Psalms. Let's go. This was an absolutely gorgeous devotional because it had us walking through Psalms and taking a look at a lot of different aspects of the Psalms. Some of them focused on the character of God. Some of them cried out to God. Some of them celebrated and glorified God. And um, it was it was wonderful. And throughout the devotional, we were encouraged to write a Psalm of our own that had to do with the Psalm that we studied. So for day one, we are in Psalm 89 and specifically it was five through 18. In this particular case, I was looking at eight through 13 and answering the question, who is my God? And I had a great time. I typed up the, uh, bits of psalm that I was writing on one of the journaling cards that comes with the kit. I was able to use the feather, which was one of the presents for the people that were the, part of the first 150 orders. Loved layering this, had the material here. This was just a fun mixed media page. Lots of fun to do. A great way to jump into the devotional. Couple stamp sets and the stenciling in the background. I do have a process video for this that I will make sure to link below. For day two, we were specifically considering the attributes of God, and we were looking at Psalm 36, specifically verses 5 and 6, where they use comparison to describe God's steadfast love and his righteousness. I had a lot of fun. I worked on a separate sheet of paper, playing with some mixed media elements and some embossing, and then cut out these circles and sewed them together with my sewing machine and had fun layering them up with stamps. These spiritual prescription cards have been so much fun, and they are so great for your journaling. So I was able to type out on there and then added a few Nouveau drops for some different texture. Pretty simple, but this was one of my favorite pages that I did in this devotion. Day three was called Rock Tower Tent and we are in Psalm 61. I had so much fun with this rainbow paper. You hear me talk about it in several videos. I was obsessed with it. So I had strips here and I cut out to frame out my phrase, my God never changes. And we were challenged to talk about how God had helped us and to compare that to an inanimate object. It was just a literary technique. So I talked about he's my blanket bringing comfort and warmth. He's the front porch light welcoming me home. He is never changing and always steady. Loved working through that page and I loved, loved, loved these rainbows. Day four was all about the sheer power of God, and we were in Psalm 18, verses 13 through 15, about God thundering through the heavens and sent his arrows and scattered them, flashes of lightning. So we were comparing God to some of the forces of nature that we experience here on earth. I used one of the scripture cards, journaling cards, to make a little pocket for a couple of the tags. In one of them, I added my journaling that were um, was adding the lines to the psalm that we're writing. And I wrote, God is the storm, which was one of the big takeaways from that day for me. I had a lot of fun. This page didn't turn out quite like I had intended. This was a fun watercolor shape that I was playing with in the background. I ended up layering over the top of it, added some lovely paint splatters and a few sequins because I'm always on Team Sparkle and layered a few die cut pieces. So pretty easy. I was really into the thread for this kit. I loved the loose ends and the texture. So you'll see that on a lot of my pages just kind of hanging off. Loved, loved, loved that feel. So I ended up not having a ton of process videos for this particular devotion. And one of the reasons is that it really hit me. I 
love this devotion. And sometimes it's easier for me to work through and process and spend that time when the camera isn't running. This was one of my favorite entries. So we are looking in Psalm 42 and the psalmist is recounting specific times that God showed up for the people of Israel. And they took up talk about Jordan, Herman and Mazar. And a couple of those, we know what happened at the Jordan River and Mount Herman. And Mazar was one that we are not sure of. It was a smaller battle, a smaller trial. And so we were challenged as part of our psalm writing to think of specific times that God had delivered us, that God had given us victory, and that he was a God of detail. So I added these little pockets if I can pull it out here, that have the memories of when God showed up for me in different times in my life. And it was so great to, um, to revisit those times. I think it's really important, especially when you feel like you might be in a trial to come back to that time. I love the hidden journaling because those are real personal for me. Um, brought a little bit of it over here so I could remember where it was that we were journaling. I loved this whole devotional and day five was a big day. Um, it hit home for sure. Okay, if day five hit home, day six was like hitting it out of the ballpark. Truth versus perceived truth. We are so quick to believe what this world tells us we should be feeling and how we should be reacting and where our uh, strength should come from. And so... We were challenged to really look, we we're in Psalm 31 and challenged to look at the truths that we think we feel, but what we know to be true in the Bible. So I said, Lord, I feel lost, but you hold me close. I feel anxious without direction, but you, Lord, guide my every step. I feel so tired and weary, but God, you provide rest. When I think that I can't keep up, you energize me and lift my spirit. When it feels like the world is against me, Lord, I trust that you are for me. And this was a fun mixed media page. I had a lot of messy stamping in the background, which was um, actually on purpose, just wanted a mixture of those floral stamps. Um, it came as one of the coordinating stamp sets with the kit. So I'll make sure to link all the stamp sets down below. This was one of the goodie stamps, this musical staff and lots of splatters. This was just a really fun page to do, but really writing out those words that I felt and then writing out what I knew to be true from God had a big, big impact. Okay, day seven was called The One Thing, and we are in Psalm 86, 11, where David cries out, Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. So that idea or thought of uniting with God, weaving our hearts together. So I did do a heart that was weaved together with some of the paper from the kit. It was a little bit time consuming, but still worked out so great. And then I have this whole cascade of hearts cut out from the coordinating paper. And in the background, using the David's Thread Alpha, I stamped one, 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 one over and over again, because that was my prayer. My adding to my Psalm for this particular day was allow my heart to become yours. Allow me to see others through your eyes, Lord, and break my heart for what breaks what breaks yours. So I wanted all of those hearts cascading and then the one woven heart um, representing becoming one with God. Okay, day eight is called Before the Throne, and that's uh, referring to coming before God's throne and confessing. And we are in Psalm 51, where David is crying out in repentance. He says, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. Oh God, you will not despise. And so we're encouraged to reflect on secret sin that we might be holding on to and bring it before God and ask him to help us remove it from our lives. And this was actually a technique that I had been wanting to try. It didn't turn out quite like I had intended. This is embossing ink put through a stencil and then I had glitter embossing powder on top of it. I like it, it just wasn't as crisp as I was hoping for and that's okay. I ended up covering up part of it with paper that coordinates with the kit and then this cascade of musical instruments because of course that's a great theme to go with in Psalms. And then I typed out my journaling using the typewriter, added a little musical instrument over there to keep the motif going on that page. And um, it came out well in the end. It's not one of my favorite pages, but not every page is going to be. And really it was about the time spent in the word. 
Day nine is called Delight, and I actually do have a process video for this page. You can tell I had a great time with the coordinating papers this month. They just worked out really well in this particular scripture journal. And again, more sewing, more loose threads. Love, love, love that look. I layered some stamping and uh, different colors back here. And this was a rainbow that I was trying to echo from the papers. And this was about finding delight in the Lord. We are in Psalm 37, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And we were encouraged to think about times where we really felt that delight really close. Um, and so I have my journaling up here, a few more layered pieces. This was a really fun page to do. I'll make sure to link that video below. Okay, day 10 is actually supposed to be reflecting on Psalm 111. And what happened was when I was getting ready and working on this particular card for day 10, the fan that is going in my craft room just flipped the page and I didn't know it and started putting things down. So it's journaled next to, next to Psalm 110, but really it is in reference to Psalm 111, which is why I added that right down here. But Psalm 111 is an acrostic poem describing attributes of God. So we were encouraged to create our own acrostic po uh, poem. I used the word praise and wrote provider of rest and relief, amazing creator, inevitably surpasses expectations. And I just had fun layering some different pieces using a couple of the other feathers that I had that go with the kit. Super fun. Let me know below if you have ever journaled on the wrong page. The creative team started talking about it. Um, a couple of us had this happen in this particular uh, devotion. And so let me know if you've ever accidentally journaled on the wrong page. Okay, day 11, we are in Psalm 63 and we're talking about clinging to God when we are caught in the wilderness, when we are wandering, when we are feeling far, we still will cling to God and he will uphold me. This page is inspired by Taryn, the newest member of the By the Well for God creative team. I'll make sure to link all the creative team members down below. But Taryn had a similar page using the His Story a stamp set, which is absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite all times from By the Well for God. And so I was totally inspired and totally scrap lifted her idea of using the typewriter and layering some of the stamping. I have my little ink bottles that I cut out. Super fun to do. So on the typewriter, I just wrote the phrase, I will cling to you and then you will uphold me. Psalm 139 was our focus for day 12, which is by far one of my favorite Psalms. And I actually kept the journaling, the art part, pretty simple, believe and adore. Psalm 139 walks you through a lot of questions that we all have as Christians and gives you the answers from God. And in the journaling, we were encouraged to think of places that we feel separated or um, lost from God in the, and then to encourage ourselves that he is there. So I said, in the depths of my own darkness, when I feel smothered by anxiety, you are there. In moments of beauty and joy, too beautiful for words, you are there. In the ordinary quiet moments, in times of childish chaos, you are there and I know I am loved. And this page was pretty simple. This is just acrylic paint layered in the background. I stamped using the David's Thread Alpha and fussy cut those out. Very simple page. Uh, I just spent a little bit more time journaling those words. Okay, in day 13, we are in Psalm 149, where it instructs us to sing, 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 sing in the sanctuary, sing in our homes, and sing on the battlefield. So for my artwork, I was... Um, thought of creating this road because the phrase take it to the streets is what came into my head, meaning that we should just be singing God's praises all the time in all parts of our lives. And so I have this road right here done with a Tim Holtz stencil, use some watercolor along the sides, a couple of stamps from the kit. I use the clear alpha and the alpha tiles to write sing praise and take it to the streets. And then we were encouraged to think of one of our favorite worship songs and to use quotes or lyrics from that song to add to our own personal psalm that we're writing. And so I said, amen, amen, I'm alive, I'm alive. Because he lives, amen, amen. Let my song join the one that never ends because he lives. Okay, for day 14, it is called Be Exalted, and we are looking at Psalm 57 verses 9 through 11, but I actually ended up 
journaling right here on the opposite page. And again, we're just looking at the characteristics of God. I love coming to the end of the devotional and just using all of the pieces. So I have this big cascading um, line of hearts and rainbows, and I love getting to use the kit sticker this time. And I chose to put a quote from a different Psalm. It says Psalm 139. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. So it's just a characteristic of God, how he's always there, always ready to guide us and be there with us. And that is how I worked through Psalms, making it personal. You guys, this was such a wonderful devotional. The Psalms are just beautiful and soothing to the soul. And if you are still working through this devotion, keep going. It's so rewarding. If you were not able to pick up this devotion this time around, keep your eyes out for the next time it comes back in stock. I believe God's timing is perfect. And so if you missed out the first couple of times, it's probably because he has a special time set aside for you to be studying this devotional. I'll make sure to list a lot of the products I use down below, the ones that I can think of in case you're interested in checking them out. Those are affiliate links, just a heads up. I really do appreciate when you shop those. It goes a long way to supporting this YouTube channel. So thank you in advance. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I hope you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.